a northbound DT&I freight train makes its way towards Givens, a small unincorporated town in southern Ohio. Two locomotives are heading this train, and they are separated from each other by one boxcar filled with soda ash. The leading locomotive, DT&I number 201, is an Alco Brooks 280 consolidation. The 201 is considered to be one of the best engines on the DT&I. The locomotive itself is almost brand new, being built one year earlier in the summer of 1916. In the 201's cab is engineer Charles Littler and fireman Otto Courage. The brakeman, C.L. Schaefer, is on the front of the locomotive. As the train approaches a small wooden trestle outside of Givens, the crew notices something terrifying. The bridge they are about to cross is on fire and only 100 feet separates them from the burning trestle. Engineer Littler hits the brakes of the 201 and whistles to the second engine behind him to do the same. The train slows to an agonizing crawl as it is nudged by its long string of cars onto the burning bridge. The train's weight soon becomes too much for the burned timbers and the bridge begins disintegrating beneath it. Brakeman Schaefer, still on the front of the 201, jumps to the right as the locomotive pitches upwards, rolls to the left, and falls 18 feet into the creek bed below. The 201's tender, along with the boxcar filled with soda ash behind it, follow it into the abyss. The second engine behind the soda ash car is left with eight feet of its front end hanging over the edge. The engineer of the second locomotive, Orville Easterday, manages to back his engine away from its precarious position, and to a safe distance where he and his crew quickly run to the aid of the three fallen railroaders in 201. They find Schaefer, the fireman who jumped from the doomed train, laying in the middle of the ravine. He is still breathing, but he is unconscious. They take Schaefer up to the railroad right-of-way and make him comfortable in a small mound. Easter Day and his crew search but cannot find the engineer fireman of 201 and cannot get close to the locomotive as hot pressurized steam is still spewing from its cabin extremities. Thirty minutes later, the steam finally subsides and the brakeman of the second locomotive finds engineer Littler and fireman Courage still in the cab of the 201. The two never attempted to bail from the locomotive. They find Courage badly scolded and pinned in an upside down position with his handkerchief over his face. They find Littler with crush injuries on his head and a six inch cut on his abdomen. Both men had died. Courage and Littler were from Springfield, Ohio, and both were married with three children each. Schaefer was a single man from Baltimore, Maryland. The cause of the bridge fire is presumed to be from an earlier DT-9 train that may have flung sparks onto the wooden timbers. As the site was cleaned up, hundreds of spectators came to see the wreck. The wooden trestle was replaced and filled in. The tracks were ready for operation by the next day and engine 201 was towed back to Jackson for repairs. By the late 1980s, no remnant of the site was left as the dt &I Railroad ceased to exist and the tracks were ripped up. This story may seem insignificant, but to the people involved, it wasn't. The story of these three men needs to be remembered. That is all I have for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.